Hey guys, what's up? Um, well, I am the Duckman. I recently did change my name, and I'm the Blue Zerg against uh the Red Terran Maverick. And um, I haven't casted the game in a while, so I wanted to cast today. And um, for those of you who haven't realized it, I really kind of jump around races last night. The game before this, I was Terran. The game before that, I was Protoss. But I really kind of stick with Zerg, and I just realized I'm going really fast. But I really kind of like to stick with Zerg. Because, I mean, they're they're a really mechanical race, and it takes a lot of skill to use them. And, um, as you can see, I am throwing down a 14 pool. And, um, so, let's pull up the production tab. I just realized that I have no sound coming out of here. I'm very sorry, people. I'll just throw it up to 10%. Okay. Well, yeah. So, um, this game I just had... And, um, I thought it was a good enough game to cast, and I'm sending a drawn out to scout, because if you didn't see, um, I accidentally had my overlord up here too long, so, um, I did not get scouting fast enough at all. And, uh, throwing down my spawning pool, as well as a extractor. And, um, so, my drone's gonna come up here, he's gonna see this barracks just now coming out, as well as this barracks starting to be made, and I was going to attack this drone are going to attack the SCV building this barracks. It's something you always want to do, just delay the barracks that much. But the Marine was coming out way too fast, so I really had no hope. And um, I did barely get out of there in time. That guy is coming, and my Overlord is still going to go scout. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys, don't feel so good. But anyway, so yeah, uh, transferring drones to my extractor. And um, running from this guy, I noticed this. So what I'm going to do in a second, and uh, my spawning pool is going down. I don't want the enemy to spot uh, spot me here, so I'm I'm stopping him from scouting too quick to give me enough time to get the rest of my drones out. And I should have pulled this guy away, but I didn't. But I do stop him from scouting my expansion or my base, and so um, that was pretty good. See, I'm throwing down two zer four zerglings. This production tab here. Um, the enemy has a barracks and two marines on the way. Uh, well, oh gosh, I keep clicking the pause button. Well, I have a uh, queen, four zerglings, two drones, and an overlord. So, um, let's look at the APM here. APM, maybe? M, there we go. So, mine is 45 average. His is 19 average. So, uh, as you can see, I'm not good at this game. Pretty much at all. But, I mean, I play. But uh, Zergling Speed is on the way, and um, I do have four Zerglings coming out, as well as my Queen is coming out, and another Queen here in my expansion. I did lose this Overlord. I tried to get him out of there, but he did die. So I do need to throw down two more Overlords here. <coughs> Gosh. <coughs> yeah, but anyway, so, um, this game. Um, so I'm just pretty much doing pretty much a basic Zerg build. And, uh, this guy's going pretty basic, three, uh, he's not getting any, um, attachments for the, I don't know what, yeah, I guess building attachments for these two things, for the, those two buildings, which is a little interesting, I'm not quite sure why. So, uh, there we go, throwing down a ton of men here, a ton of, uh, ow, that hurt, but yeah, so I have six drones on the way, and, um, I am getting my layer now. Um, I had a little bit delayed of my lair, but, um, I'm just gonna speed this up, guys. This is pretty boring so far. So, he is sending a marine out here to scout. Um, actually, his marine's just kind of sitting down. There we go. No, it's running back. Oh, wait, no. It's going up to start attacking my rocks. Nope, it's just watching here. Okay. Nope, nope. What's it gonna do? Oh, it's shooting the rocks. That'll take a while. And, um, so I'm getting Zerglings out. My spire is on the way here. And uh, down at the enemy's base, he is getting a bunker to watch by... I would have just put a supply depot, but he could do a bunker. That is his choice. And um, so I'm going to slow back down here. And so he is just getting pretty much mass marine with a little bit of marauder mix in there. And he is throwing down a factory. Um, I am now getting my uh, uh, mutalisks out, but um, supply blocks. So I do need to throw down some more overlords. And I do have some more... Mutalisks there. And, um, 
Mutal Wing is a very good build. It's pretty much Mutal Mutalisks and Zerglings or Mutalisk and Banglings is a very good build. And I realized that I haven't scouted him. And it's all you always want to scout at the eight minute mark, and I'm at the ten minute mark. So I'm just gonna use my Ultralisk or my Mutalisk to run in, see what his army is, do some drone harassment, and get out. So um, that guy's still attacking those rocks. But yeah, so. I got my guys sitting here, and they're about to move in. Uh, see, these guys look like half-eaten donuts to me. I don't know about you guys, but they look like that to me. Anyway, so uh, going through here, I'm going in. I'm going to see this factory just getting finished. No attachment going on yet. And um, I'm going to start picking off these drones. And it looks like he's about to move out. But he realizes, you know, he needs to go back. And I do kill a ton of drones there. That guy's one kill, three, two... One, one, da, ba, da, ba. I don't know, but overall I could probably killed quite a few. And then I got still attacking those rocks, so I'm gonna get out of there. And um, so I'm making more <coughs> jerglings because I realize he has so many marines. My mutilus is gonna be worthless against it, so I'm trying to throw down a banely nest because banelings really help against these marines. And he does have a mule in there. I'm not quite sure why. But he is going to uh, up here to attack my base. And um, I don't know that he's coming. But I know that he is probably going to attack soon. So I really need to get my banelings out. And desperately. And this drone is coming down here to expand down here. I'm going to expand again. And um, so he's trying to come. And my banelings nest is almost on the way. I'm like trying to get my guys out. Um, I'm not putting... More, or I'm not um, <coughs> spawning larva on that. I don't know quite know why. I do have larva on that, and um, so he is attacking my rocks. Rocks are almost complete. I'm morphing in a ton of banelings. 24 banelings on the way. Tw 29, 30, 36 banelings are on the way, as well as flyer attacks level one. So um, this queen's going down quite fast, and he's just walking right into my base here destroying everything and I'm not attacking I want to get as much banelings as I can so I am going to sacrifice my expansion but now I have banelings and so I'm just going to go and he's trying to run but I mean we're on creep so it's pretty much over so there we go I just destroyed his whole armor he did take on my expansion which really did help him but I'm also expanding down here and he doesn't even have a single expansion and um yeah so I'm getting centrifugal hooks and um I do have, these guys will start doing something in a little bit. But down at the enemy base, he is trying to rebuild his army. He's getting missile turrets because of my mutalisks. Um, he does have infantry level, weapons level 1, which is more than I have for these guys. But I do have flyer attacks level 1. And, um, so yeah, I'm trying to get some more zerglings out. I have 18 more zerglings coming out over here. And, um... So, I'm trying to get enough to attack him, because I'm realizing that I pretty much have killed his whole army. So, I want to get ready to attack, but I can't just run in with, like, nothing, because I do still have to break down this wall. So, I'm going to morph in a ton of banelings to get ready to blow into the wall. I'm transferring three drones. You never want to transfer too many drones, or else you'll kill yourself, pretty much. And he's getting, he's going to see a ton of banelings. <coughs> The armor size is 78 for me and 41 for him. Units lost is... Well, we are about even in the units lost, but a lot of these are banelings for me, which are not very expensive. And he did also kill my hatchery. And units, I have five baneling coods being made, and I have 30 banelings. 30 drones. I only have 30 drones? My gosh. 30, 30 drones, 13 mutalisks, and just amazingness. So I'm flying down here. I'm getting ready to attack. And um, so as you can see, he's doing the worst thing. He's going mass marine. And you really want to either get tanks or marauders uh, just because this is terrible what he is doing. And he is sending a marine like out here. And uh, so I'm sending just uh, nine banelings in. I'm going for this bunker, and with this bunker, I'm going to blow up two supply depots and an add-on. So there we go. I'm sending in the rest of my banelings, because I saw the tip of this marine army. So I'm going to go in, and he's shooting some of them, but I mean, banelings are just so powerful. There we go. And uh, I do have two banelings still alive here. So I'm going to run in, or I'm running in with my mutilisk. My banelings are about to attack that, then they decide 
to go for these guys, but game over before, wow, that looks interesting, it looks like he's like on top of his head, and um, so that game really came down to the fact that I had so many more expansions than him, and he just really like did not have what it needed, so I did versus a not very well good teammate, but or not very good enemy, but there you have it, I'll see you guys next time.